It looks so weird. Is that a house or something? Yeah, so this is the completed guideline drawing before I am going to add the details, just the doors and other and erase the unneeded lines. I made all of the lines without this, without using the actual increments on here, only the increments on the protractor itself. Now you may be wondering why the garage of the house, this part, is so small and the others. Because of spatial relationship, it is um, because of the perspective, I like drawing with perspective. The dark lines are the outlines of what the house is going to look like. For that part of, part of the project, because <laughs> I want to keep my drawing and I don't want to mess up my drawing, I just marked my angle there. That's a right angle and it is 90 degrees. Um, that's an obtuse angle, it's 101 degrees, I don't know why it's 101 and not 100, but that's the way I drew it, because it ended, I ended up making that 46 degrees, that angle. When I drew it, there was a vertex point right there, so, if you wanted to see, you could draw that for you to visualize it. That's 46 degrees right there. So, and so is you one on the other side. If it was 45, they'd be complementary. Say that up to 90. That is the midpoint of the house. Found by the compass by this method. Then the center perpendicular line goes through that. This is a completed outline of the house and now I'm going to um add the details. This is what I got so far on the side of the house. And I'm trying to make the garage door here. And if you want to see how I'm making it, I did that point. We're making equal lengths here using the compass to go along like so until I'm finished with it. This is now the design of the house, and I'm going to outline it with a special pen. this pen and we let the ink dry after I use the pen to find the pen and then I'll turn on the camera again and that's what I got so far so all I need to do is add some detail and add some color and then that's
gonna show you where each and every one of them are is I mean um point the peak of the roof lines plane line this is the line where the two planes meet plane is just simply one of the sides collinear if you don't if you look closely all of them are all of the top two are the same height for most of them. Then non collinear that line that point does not lie on that line. Um open this plane this this line shares that line shares this plane non complainer that line and that that line and that line do not share the same plane and space that region right there, the dimensional space. Dimension is the whole picture itself. It's 3D kind of segment. There's a segment right there, there's a segment right there. There's segments all over here. I can zoom in to the to give the details. If you look at the Microsoft this down there. There's the bedroom. That's the front. The bathroom is right there. And the other bedroom is right there. There's the door. Math is nothing to be, be math is nothing to be squared up. There's the office room. And there's the kitchen. There's the garage. I chose the D because the plan looks similar to my house. Not exactly, but similar. Extremely similar. Well, my thing doesn't have that much more space, so I'm gonna put it over. 